outrageous performance in a compact body. That's the way I can describe the new Mac Studio. Hey everyone, this is AnyTech. And what a time to be a content creator. Apple just unveiled the Mac Studio and Studio Display. So if you are a video creator, you got a studio, music, gaming, photography, 3D animation, whatever, meet the all new Mac Studio. It's amazing what's packed inside this compact machine, the Mac Studio. Just before unveiling the Mac Studio, on March 8, 2022, Apple introduced M1 Ultra, a new powerful ship. That's like, technically speaking, fusing two M1 Max ships together. To put this in perspective, it was just October 2021 when Apple announced the M1 Max, and that is the most powerful ship on the MacBook Pro, giving incredible results in the Mac 2021 MacBook Pro. So now you got the M1 Ultra uh, now being packed inside of Studio Mac. So let's take a deep dive, uh, beginning with Mac Studio. So the Mac Studio could be, depending on your options, supercharged by the M1 Max or you could choose the M1 Ultra. Yeah, great choice. It's quite an adventure uh, to try to get a Mac Studio of your choice. As Apple debated here. Yeah, and it's what are going through all of that to get the real machine of your choice. I got all the stuff that you need. So now we come to design as we take a deep dive. So the Mac Studio, I uh, think the exterior of it is aluminum and the dimension 7.7 .7 inch square by 3.7 inch height. And right there, you can see unique double sided blower. So it takes in cool air from the bottom and to use to cool the system and it takes out the hot air through the back. Yeah, you can see the hot air comes out through the back. When it comes to connectivity, you can see all the different options that are there. USB-A, HDMI, full HDMI is there. Pro Audio Jack, got a Thunderbolt and right in front, um, you have the USB uh, C that can have speed up to 10 gig, 10 gigabyte per second if you use the M1 Max. And if it is the M1 Ultra, you got Thunderbolt 4 that can do 40 gigabyte per second speed. And you got an SD card there. You know, that's really cool. And you can connect up to Pro Display, 4 Pro Display, and a 4K TV together, um, the Mac Studio can power all of that. That's truly amazing. This is outrageous performance, <laughs> you will say. Yeah. And it, it performs more than the iMac and more than the top of the current, top of the line, the Mac uh, Pro. So yeah, you have some benchmark scores in terms of CPU compared to the iMac. So the Mac Studio can do more than two times. And uh, so when you compare to Mac Pro itself, about 50 times, 50% 50 faster in terms of CPU performance. In terms of GPU with the iMac is 3.4 uh, X uh, uh, more performance.
and in terms of GPU, when you compare, um, it's, it's almost about 50% uh, also faster than the Mac Pro, which is the top of the line. Truly amazing what Apple have done in this small form factor. Yeah, there you have it. Mac Studio is 80% faster than Mac Pro, top of the line. You can get unified memory up to 64 gigabyte and uh, at the top of the line you can take that up to 128 gigabyte uh, unified memory and your plasma storage you can go up to ssd you can go up to 8 terabyte and 18 streams of 8k prores this machine can handle it's a monster yeah so if you go with m1 max it's about three times faster than the fastest iMac and with M1 Ultra it's 80 percent faster than the Mac Pro top of the line so it's ready for whatever you want to use it for be it music in your studio home studio anything like that whatever you throw at it uh, so if you do music it's good to go um, it, it's right there at your desktop and you can handle all the tasks if you got uh, maybe 3D or 4D simulations, something like that to do, yeah, Mac Studio can handle all of that, whatever task you throw at it. Yeah, so this is really built for creators. Uh, this is what you want to get. Yeah, don't want to get anything else right now. And for the price, uh, it's good as well. Really amazing. Yes. And you think about how many display you can connect to this thing, you know. Um, studio display for another 4K monitor, can, a 4K TV can go in. So whether you're a photography studio or something like that, yeah, you can use this. This is what you need. Yeah, it's amazing. If you do video editing like creators, like we do, yeah, this is a machine that you want to pick up, you know. And it's something you can even travel with, you know. You just pick it up. You need to do some work somewhere else and uh, you can still use it. So now we come to the studio display. I got just studio display right there. Uh, so you you have a stand that you can tint here and there. Uh, the second one here is the one I like to get. You can even take it up and down. So it depends on what um, fits your, your need. You can uh, actually mount it on your wall. You can as well do that vertically. That's so cool. So 27 inch um, display of 14.7 pixels. Uh, that's so cool. It's a 5K retina display. So the display got A13 Bionic right there. They have 12 MP ultra wide camera with center stage as it is on like the iPad Pro. Yeah. yeah. Center stage right there in action. So this is what you need. So if you're ready to do some collaboration and you don't want to pull off your camera, so you can just fire on with a studio display. Three array of microphones and six speakers, right? Yeah. So the display's got the best combination of camera and audio together and uh, connectivity on it. So that's a good. You got three USB C at the back of the display. 
That's truly cool. You got one Thunderbolt. Yeah. So with your Thunderbolt, you can power even your MacBook from the display. You can power it. Truly amazing. Your current MacBook can as well power the studio display, could power up to three. And if you want to order Mac Studio, yeah, so you got option of M1 Max. I like to go M1 Ultra. Uh, so it starts at $39.99. Yeah. So you got option. Um, can do all the way from 64 unified memory. I like to go for top of the line 128 um, unified memory, a terabyte SSD storage. Uh, I think that should be getting to almost $8,000. Yeah, but it's good. 7999. Good to be issue proof, you know. So that's Mac Studio. A studio display. Truly, I can't wait to get these two machines into the studio. For a long time, I haven't felt this way about an Apple product. Whether it's a 2021 MacBook Pro or some other product, I haven't felt this way. Uh, I would say this product, though, the Mac Studio is where thought out and design from the beginning with creators in mind. What more can you ask for? So we'll do a full review after we get a uh, Mac Studio and the studio display into the studio and use them for a little while. Please subscribe so you won't miss any of the very useful content that will be coming your way from AnyTech. Uh, until at some other time, we bring another content your way very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.